Hello everyone. Today we're going to do something that I haven't done before. And that is paint on a coffee mug. Now, this one I have here, it's a rather tall one. I got it at the dollar bill store for a dollar. And I bought a bunch of them, but on my way home I noticed, well actually after I got home I noticed this one's chipped. So I'm going to use this one as like a trial run and do a video on it and see how this goes. Right. From what I read, you should always clean this surface before you start painting on it with rubbing alcohol. So that's what I got here. And I don't have a cotton ball, so I'm just going to use this paper towel. And I'm just going to scrub the front of it. Now this is a rather tall coffee mug and I bought these because my husband is a big time coffee drinker and I figured he would like to have a big mug, not a small mug. And so this is approximately a little bit over four and a half inches tall. I'm going to put my center about here. I'm kind of eyeballing it. And my pencil doesn't work very good. But I do have a little smudge there. You guys, I'm sure, can't see it. And that's just... I'm going to just do, for my first trial run, I'm going to just do a mandala, like, right here on the coffee mug. And maybe I'll do it on the other side, too, if I like it. But I want to get a center dot on there to start out, because you can't tell anything. I got these, a couple colors of these gloss enamels, which is a multi-surface paint. And it needs to be baked to be cured so that it's dishwasher safe. So there's my first dot. And that's a number eight. Okay, now I'm just, I'm, I couldn't really draw on it, so I'm just going to um, eyeball it, I guess. So I'm going to go to a number three. I'm going to make my four dots like I always do. Top, bottom, side, and side. And then one in between each of those. This was with a number three. Okay, so that was Calypso Blue. Now I'm going to use this True Blue. Go up to a number four and do another row. Okay, that was with a four, so I'm going to go up to a five and do, I want to do another row in that blue. Okay, now I'm going to go up to a six and I've got this yellow, bright yellow color. On number seven, I guess. And I'm going to use yellow again. I'm going to do every other one. To a number nine, I'm going to do the opposite ones. Okay, now I'm going to get some white, mark some dots. Okay, I'm going to a number two. I'm going to put the dot and then I'm going to walk them. I'm going to get a number three. And I'm going to put a light blue dot, or I should say the lighter color blue dot, in between these. Yeah, going up to the number four, and I'm going to put a dark blue dot just out from that one. Now, I think I'm going to incorporate another color, which is this green. This is festive green. A number 11. And I'm going to go out from those blue ones we just did.
Okay, now I'm going to go with the number three. I'm going to walk some dots around those. Okay, now I think I'm going to do another row around it in that light blue color. Still with the number three. Okay, and I think I'm going to go around it in yellow as well. The number four and do my top dot first. Okay, I'm gonna go two on each side with the number four and then I'm gonna go down to the number three, I think. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to the three. And I'm going to try and bring them just together here in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to go with, oh, I guess the number three still. I'm going to do a dark blue dot right in the corners where these come together. I'm going to go up to the number five and I'm going to do another blue dot in the same color out from that one we just did. Okay, and now I'm going to get a big green dot again. And this time I think I'll go with a number 10. Right off of what we just did. Now I'm going to go around those with white. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to use the number four for my outer dot. Okay, now I'm going to go to the number three. Three and walk dots around those. And go around that and oh, I guess the light blue color using the number four for the top one. Okay, do a couple both directions with the number four. I'm going to go up to the number 11 and put a white dot in between. I think I'm going to leave that as the pattern and I'm just going to top dot on them. I'm going to go with the number six. I'm going to tap dot white on those big green dots. Okay, I'm going to put white on the other green ones too. I'm going to put light blue on the just dark blue in the center here. I'm using a number two. I'm going to put a dark blue dot on the bigger ones of these yellows. That's with a number four. So the number six. I'm going to go in with a number three. And I'm going to put that light blue on 
on top of those inner green ones at least on those white dots with the number three I guess I'll do these outer ones too. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a number five and the white, and I'm gonna dot that center dot again. And I think I'm gonna call it at that. Now if I was going to sell these, I would paint the back side too. But this is my trial one because on the back side I've got that chip that nobody's going to want to drink out of that side. So I figured I would just bake it and see how it goes. And use it at home if we're going to use it or I don't know if I'll use it or not. But So if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.